to create your life now, create the life that you want, using the power of manifestation, the law of attraction for money, for love, for losing weight perhaps, for anything that you're seeking to transform in your life, manifesting desires, manifesting love, to live the life you want. And I'm gonna share a principle from the Course in Miracles today. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for visiting another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And previously I had discussed the information, the free information kits and eBooks available online today for learning to go within and create the life you want now. We discussed this deeply at the webinar last night, so I'm gonna recap that here today. And by the way, uh, keep in mind as you're listening to me, in the description area down below is an access link called the Manifest Greatness, and it will give you access to the free manif manifestation breakthrough kit that we discussed in last evening's webinar. If you look within yourself deeply, I mean real deep to your inner core, yes, you will note that how much, of it, how much of exactly what you think your life will bring you does indeed bring you that. Now, do you see how the power to begin manifesting desires is in this instant right now? As my friend Eckhart Tolle would say, the power of now, correct? You know, you can read more on manifesting your desires at a detailed blog article that I had written on called Manifest Reality that you make that you may call your own for a better life. And the link to that article is in the description area down below as well. You may have to click on show more to expand that area open here at YouTube. But I hope that you'll access that article. And understanding that you have the power, maybe the time has actually come for you to begin manifesting love and other objectives and goals in your life and to build your future. So a definition of manifestation, well, that is what creativity is all about. And you can specify it as your capability to create the life the way you want it to be while in this world. Now list those things that you have, that you currently have actually brought into being. You know, like your relationships, the good ones, as well as the bad ones, your family, your kids, your marital relationship, your success, and so forth. Look at the things that you've brought into this life. You've actually manifested those things. And if you care to, list all the failures that you have actually developed in your life and through the choices and options that you've made. You know, manifesting desires, whatever it might be, is the natural law of the miracle. Now, the Course in Miracles has a wonderful principle, which is really the foundation of the text in the Course in Miracles. And it states, there is no order of difficulty and miracles. All expressions of love are maximal. Now I'm going to repeat that because it's so profound, but before I do, I'll let you know that I've noted this principle from the Course in Miracles in the description area down below as well. So you may want to jot that down, keep it near your desk or something. The Course in Miracles states, there is no order of difficulty and miracles. All expressions of love are maximal. So, well, you know, the fact is that you can do all these things that you want to do, and you are undoubtedly able to manifest whatever you desire in this world. Now, that principle I'd quoted to you from The Course in Miracles basically is telling us that, that miracles are, are all simple to do. There's not one miracle more difficult than another. They're all the same. So, in some cases, manifesting desires might appear difficult to think you know, such a thing, especially when things are not going too well for us. But for me and for others who I have learned from, manifesting love and manifesting desires or wealth or health or, you know, whatever it might be, perhaps there must be action taking and purpose and passion as the foundation. I hope that makes sense. I hope it hit home for you. By the way, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, and I hope that you are you know, paying attention to the inner beauty that is within you, and you're thinking a lot about your own life in that respect, and learning to reflect that inner awesomeness to the material world, making your life situation filled with grandeur. I wish the best for you. Until next time, God bless.